Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Salesforce for Everyone podcast. In today's episode, we're going to do things just a little bit differently. This is actually going to be a Q&A episode, and it's centered around the launch of our new Career Accelerator program. And with any new program uh, being introduced, obviously, we get a lot of questions, and we've heard a lot of your questions on social media and in our DMs, and we want to take a moment to answer those because we think they deserve great answers. So with me today to bring some of those great answers to the table, as always, is Anita Smith. How's it going, Anita? Hey, uh, it's going all right. Had a, Just got out of a little funk phase, I guess. I was a little unmo- unmotivated before, but starting to feel like my normal self. I think it was all the, the traveling I was doing. Um, how are you? Where are you right now? This doesn't look like your normal background. Yeah, I think first of all, the funk is normal, right? Like we we all deserve a good couple of funk weeks, a couple of times a year just to reset and get our energy levels back. But yeah, I mean, you were doing a lot with like conferences and I know you were a little under the weather and it can take time to recover from that stuff. So that makes perfect sense. Uh, I am currently in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, so we're enjoying some time out of Texas or away from home, I should say, at the moment, and spending some time in the mountains. And it's been a nice break to some cooler weather uh, and actually experiencing fall, which we don't often experience in the Houston area. Oh, is it already like nice temperatures? <laughs> it's still in the 90s over here. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. No, it's it's fantastic. I've got a light jacket on and it's uh it's very pleasant weather. Uh so yeah, but things are pretty normal. I also was a little under the weather. Um I still stayed motivated, but definitely not wanting to do nearly as much as I would normally do on a, <laughs> a typical weekday. So, uh it's not a contest, okay? <laughs> I'm much more motivated than you are, Anita. <laughs> Um, anyway, all right. So I think we should hop in. I mean, you and I both had, uh, a lot of effort along with some incredible people like Alex and Anthony and and many others who, uh, had a hand in making the career accelerator program a reality. And for everyone listening, I mean, a large part of what this podcast is a large part of what talent stacker is even known for is helping entry level talent break into the Salesforce ecosystem. But, this one's a little bit different. So maybe we could talk for a few minutes about why we even created this program. Yeah, I I, I was just about to ask that because like, you know, I, I went through the first program myself and landed a job. Like, why, why does anyone need anything else? I thought like, we landed our dream job, we're good to go. Why did you decide to create the Career Accelerator program? It's it's an interesting topic, and that's probably the first thing we hear from anyone where we're like, we have this other program, and they're like, oh, for entry level people, and it's like, no, we're 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 not doing entry level with this iteration. This is the career accelerator. This is for established professionals. And to your point, they're often thinking, well, why why, why do we need this? Like, all the doors were blown wide open. I have so much opportunity now, and naturally, I'll make more money next year than I did this year, just because of the way this ecosystem works and this career path works. And that's all true. But the reality is, in my career and coaching others in their careers, there's still stagnation and there's still lack of direction and there's still massively a lack of guidance. I think in the Salesforce ecosystem, there's a lot of resources available for people who are trying to break in. There's Trailhead and there's programs like Talent Stacker. And there are a lot of free resources out there, YouTube videos and all kinds of influencers and creators. But what you don't see much of are people helping the people who have broken in take it to the next level. We hear about, you know, people making it to C-level executive positions or director level positions at companies. Uh, We hear about people starting their own consultancies or becoming independent consultants, freelancing on the side, uh, getting these massive pay raises or these dream jobs that they literally never imagined could be true in their lives, but we don't often know how to actually get there. It just happens to us. We just put enough time in the game and it magically happens. But I think the average Salesforce professional would tell you it does not magically happen and you still need ongoing guidance. Just like me, myself, I I appreciate having mentorship today after 
you know, 12 plus years in the ecosystem. And I think definitely for individuals, you know, if you're not a hundred percent sure what you're going to do next, or your goal is always another certification, then there's a bigger picture. There are ways to design your career in a way that leads you very efficiently and very quickly to your goal. Um, so that's really why it's here. It's to help give that guidance, help give that clear direction and help establish professionals design those goals and take action to end up where they want to be in their careers. And we're not talking about 10 years from now. We're talking about a year, two years, three years. And you would be amazed at what someone who has guidance and direction can do in a year. It's, it's unbelievable. So, um, does that resonate with you? Like it would, would you have anything to add to like, why, why is this thing a reality? Why did we create this? So once you get into the course, if you do join, th there are so many things um, that you, so many different directions you can go with your career. And like when I, before I even switched into a Salesforce role, you know, I, I was always like, oh, how do I become one of those people who, who makes six figures? How do I even break, like, is it, is it even possible? Um, I, I just needed a little guidance. And then I was able to do that through the first program. Okay. Now, like, what's next? I mean, do I just like, you know, keep working, doing what I do? No, there's like another level you can keep going up. I just like, for most people, you just need someone to tell you like, hey, yeah, it is possible. Keep shooting for higher salaries or higher titles. And this is the guide on how to get there. Um, I'm a little biased on one of the main sections is on salary negotiation. Um, I I'm the one that teach it, uh, teaches it. And I've used this to get tens of thousands um, more in like money for my, my salary for over the past two years. I've, I've done it twice now and it's worked great. I will see this following year, but I, I know the strategy works and we, uh, and for anyone listening who is nervous about salary negotiation, we kind of walk you through it step by step. Um, it is not as hard as you think it is. Yeah, I, I, I love that. And I think that's something you're gifted at. I don't know if that's fair to say. It's obviously bigger than salary negotiation. I think it's gifted at having what a lot of people would consider maybe a, a, a nerve wracking conversation or something that may just be a little uncomfortable, uh, you know, going to your manager. And I've seen like a huge misconception in the Salesforce ecosystem, especially where people feel like you have to job hop in order to get pay raises. And the the reason why that's a belief is because it's more comfortable. It's so much easier to talk to a recruiter or a new company about how much you would like to be paid moving into a new role, right? That's an easy conversation to have. That's a, They're going to ask you. They want to talk about it. But talking to your current employer is awkward, right? If they're not bringing it up and you're going, hey, I want to talk to you about how much I'm being paid and what my benefits are and all these kind of things that can feel uncomfortable. And so often, you know, there's this misconception, you have to job hop to get a pay raise. But I would argue that well over 90% of the time, no one even goes to their current employer and negotiates for a pay raise. They think they, they're only allowed to negotiate when they get the job. They're not allowed to negotiate six months in or 12 months in or 24 months in. Like you have to wait for the employer to ask you. And it's not true. Like employment is a partnership. They benefit from you and you benefit from them. And the the door should be open for that conversation. And if it's not, then that might not be an employer you want to work with anyway. Uh, so I love that. I do think that you're uniquely gifted at carrying that conversation. And we definitely appreciate all the input you had uh, for that, you know, that portion of many other portions of the Career Accelerator program. Now, getting into that, it's an interesting topic, and I think we can segue this into another question we hear a lot is how does this program specifically benefit me? Because I think in the Salesforce ecosystem, again, people like to partition themselves. They like to say, well, I'm a business analyst, and I need business analyst advice, and I'm an admin, and I need admin advice, and I'm a developer, I need developer advice, and I'm going to get into management or project management or something like that, so I need project management advice. And so they're expecting to see guidance tailored to them, but I think salary negotiation is one of those that it doesn't it doesn't pick a specific Salesforce role. It could care less what your role is. It's about communicating your value with an employer. So um, the, the question is, how does this provide value to any Salesforce professional 
not just one individual silo of professionals. And that is um, what's really cool about the program because there's a, it's kind of like a create your own career path. Um, I mean, I highly recommend doing all the modules, but you can jump from module to module depending on what your long-term career goals are. If you want to job hop or if you want to stay in your current company and move up or if you want to go the independent consulting route, it's all there laid out for you. Like the original program, career development program, there were live workshops and um, there are live workshop offerings in the Career Accelerator program. Um, can you tell the audience a little more about those? Yeah, that that's a great one. I I believe I heard that one actually yesterday. We were doing a live and, and I got that same question. So it's fresh on my mind. And what's incredible is that we have learned from the ecosystem, right? There's a lot of live workshops and live events and live guest speaking. And you can go to a Dreamforce or a local dream and event, and you will hear speakers to the point that you really don't want to hear any more speakers talk about anything, right? Because you start to hear a lot of the same things. You start to get mixed guidance. And what we decided with the Career Accelerator, and this will grow over time, is that we really wanted to deep dive with specific topics. It was less about, let's talk about some random topic of the week, and you may or may not know how it applies to you, but just, hey, come hang out and spend some time with us. And we decided we wanted to push our topics to actually grow off of each other. So as we move forward, for instance, I'm hosting the first three very specific freelance or independent consulting workshops. And we hosted one of these last night. It was actually the first one of the program. And it was so interesting. You know, first we start with moving through the actual program materials and understanding what exact resources do you have at your fingertips right now as a member. You can click this button, you can open this resource, you can download this template and immediately have hours and hours and hours of value right in front of you. Things that would have taken you five, six, seven, eight hours to do on your own, you now have within 10 to 15 minutes just by clicking on this one resource and how immense that value can be. So speaking specifically on the freelance or what I like to call the independent consulting side is we're walking you through how to create your own proposals. We're walking you through how to put in non-disclosure agreements and non-compete agreements if you hire subcontractors. Um, we're talking you through uh, how to actually put your profit loss statements together and pay your quarterly estimated taxes and make sure that you know, you're actually doing the right thing on the back end of your business. But then there's the front end of your business. There's landing new clients and strategies to make that happen. What rates should you be charging dependent on your skill level or niche topics that you understand? Um, getting into project lifecycle, like how do we get questionnaires out to clients? How do we go through discovery? Uh, how do we gather requirements? How do we document and implement those requirements? How do we set up project plans? How do we track our time? How do we invoice? Uh, how do we make sure that we communicate when we're going to be paid and how we're going to be paid to our clients. There's so many aspects and it can sound overwhelming, uh, but the reality is it's a handful of small things. And once you understand how to do them and you plug them together, you end up with a really incredible skill set and ability where you can take your Salesforce skills and now apply them in a way that is has massive exponential value to, yes, your income, but also to your flexibility, to your autonomy, to doing the things you actually value in your life versus working a 40, 50, 60 hour work week and not actually getting to the goals. I mean, I think often in the Salesforce space, we get on the certification hamster wheel and it's just which certification is next, which certification is next. Instead of thinking, how can I actually reach my goals? What are my goals? Is it to spend more time with my family? Is it to become a director? Is it to travel more? Is it to work less than 40 hours a week? Is it to have more autonomy over my life? What are your goals? And then we figure out how to get to those goals through the program guidance. Uh, so there's a lot there. And I say all that because in the workshop last night, we're literally talking to Salesforce professionals who are going through a variety of nuanced situations to them on how to land clients, on how to decide what rates they should be charging. And we're able to have those conversations and talk through that in a really um, you know, small group setting, 
Everyone has a chance to ask their questions. You don't just get feedback from me, you get feedback from other professionals. Uh, and we get a really great, it's really a, I would, I would call it more of a mastermind session is what these workshops are like and less of a someone talking at you and more of a small group mastermind working together to all become that much better. And my goal for our next freelance session is to keep these conversations alive. And then when we meet again next month on this is to pick up right where we left off and dive deeper and deeper and deeper to the point where we're literally coaching people into starting their own consultancies and that's what's going to happen. And that's what these live workshops are like. So I know that's an extremely long-winded version uh, of an answer, but I hope that gives some insight into these aren't just going to be, hey, listen to this person for 30, 45, 60 minutes, and then have a good day. It is much more workshop style, mastermind style, very involved. Um, so with that in mind, I know it can sound like a lot. And a lot of times for people, they go, man, like that sounds great. Like I would love to be in a mastermind group. I would love to go through all these materials and all these downloadable templates and build my own company or negotiate for a massive raise or, or look into getting my dream job and how I'm going to accomplish that goal. And it can sound like maybe now's not the time. Like I have a lot going on right now. School's about to start back or it's almost time for a holiday or I was just about to go on a vacation and now maybe isn't the best time to really commit to accomplishing my goals like that, um, which sounds pretty wild when you put it that way. We should always be pushing to accomplish our goals. So I guess what would you say to people who feel like, you know, this sounds incredible, but I'm not sure I'm ready to really take control of my career like that right now? Yeah. <laughs> To those people, once you do eventually join, you'll look into the program. And once you hit like module, I guess one or two, you'll be like, oh, I should have done this sooner. Because even early on in the course, it goes um, it goes over like getting started at your first Salesforce job if you're just starting your first one or if you're just starting at a new company. Um, because as most people have experienced, onboarding is not the greatest at most companies. Um, that's okay, because within the program, there is a plan for that to kind of create your own onboarding um, to help yourself, um, like w what you should be doing on the first first day, you know, how to get to know your company. Um, and then there there's guidance on, you know, setting goals and creating this career development plan for yourself. You're kind of like the CEO of your own career and this, ha this program has everything you need to know and including templates and everything to help you take those steps to just further your career and increase your salary. I, I would say too, that I think a lot of times people think of a year as a relatively short amount of time. Like I see a lot of people in January, they're goal setting for the entire year, like the next 12 months. And they think of that as like, oh, it's 2024 and we're going to have this these new goals that we're going to accomplish. And I want to get two Salesforce certifications and I want to accomplish X, Y, Z this year. And I want to attend one conference and maybe speak at a conference. And then I'll be so accomplished for this year. And they set these goals. And then often they get towards the end of the year and they're like, man, I don't know if I'm going to actually reach these goals. I set these goals and I don't know if I'm going to be able to get there. And I think if you can reframe and realize when you have proper guidance, and I would, I'm biased, but I would say that this program is the best guidance you can get for accelerating your career, taking your career to the next level. And it's largely because we've lived it. This is not guesswork. Like we're not sitting over here going, oh, I wonder what it might look like to, to start your own consultancy. Oh, I wonder what it might look like to negotiate for a raise internally. I wonder what it might look like to land my dream job and, and have a massive, you know, pay increase or something like that. Like we're not guessing. This is all experience-based learning, and it's not just from one or two people. It's from you know understanding the thousand plus alumni of the Talent Stacker Career Development Program, the goals they're looking for, how they achieve their goals. People like you, Anita, who have had you know wild success uh, with the same company, you know, years and years later, but not sacrificing income because you're at the same company, and not sacrificing flexibility and autonomy because you're with the same company, and knowing that. The people behind this program are not just trying to create something like a random blog writer. It's actually experience-based uh, information that's being shared. Uh, so when we get into these, you know, topics around, you know, 
now might not be a good time because you look and you go, well, there's only 12, I've got 12 months, right? Like I joined this program and it's a, it's a 12 month subscription up front. And can I get everything I need to get done in 12 months? Um, and I, I would say that when you have the right guidance, I think you'll be am- amazed at what you can get done in a month and three months, uh, six months is an incredibly long amount of time to set goals and tackle them and accomplish them. I, I would say that given the price tag on this thing, like if you actually join the program and you spend two or three good months taking it seriously, I don't really have a question about what you're going to accomplish in a year. You're going to accomplish an incredible amount in just a few months. You don't, you don't, you don't need 12 months. You need just a few months and you're going to have incredible value. So that, that would be my take. Yeah. I think the most important thing, um, as like me personally, why I, Oh, what I'm a course addict. So I, I pretty much support every course creator in the Salesforce ecosystem because I can't help myself, but I like to keep that momentum of, cause you don't want to stop learning and get, get stagnant. You, you want to keep growing, keep learning. And th- this, this course is one of those things that help helps you, um, continue that drive and not get stuck in, in your role. Cause you're going to say, Oh, let me, let me get used to this role first and then I'll do more stuff, but you're, you're going to end up pushing it further and further. And then when you do join, you're like, Oh, okay. I regret not starting this from the beginning. Cause there's a lot of stuff that it could have helped me early on. And now I feel like I'm behind. So, um, my, you're talking about, um, the, the costs and stuff. So like, I know the original program was one time fee, lifetime access. Um, why is there an ongoing cost in this new program? That's a great question. And I, I think like, like you said, like the talent stacker career development program for entry level people is you pay, you get lifetime access and it's a beautiful thing. Um, one thing we're noticing as we start the career accelerator program is that we, number one, want you to get immense value with your initial purchase, right? So you're going to get, when you join, you get 12 months of access to the program. And in that 12 months, I have no doubt you're going to feel that there's an extreme multiplier effect to what just happened, right? You're going to go, okay, that was well worth the price of admission. I would have paid a lot more to join this. I'm glad I got in and now I'm here. Now, at the end of that 12 months, I think something... Uh, to understand is that we don't just recharge you for the entire 12 months again. It's not like you have to pay for the program again. It is a subscription model at that point. So you pay, but it's not like you pay the same amount you paid for year one. It's a much smaller ongoing sort of like a maintenance fee. And number one, it is a maintenance fee, right? We're going to continue to host live workshops constantly, multiple times a month. And again, these are not just having a volunteer speaker come hang out and talk about how they got certified and tips for studying. Like, that's not what we're doing. Like, we are deep diving individually, adding value to you. Uh, The other thing is we're going to continue to grow this program. It is not going to be, when you join day one, when you look up a year later, it is not going to be the same program. It is going to be different lessons, different modules, different value adds. And so the longer you're in this, the more you will continue to get added value throughout your career. And at Talent Stacker, we, we're largely communal. And what that means is that the feedback you give us, the advice you give us, the struggles you have, the questions you ask are what feed what we put into this program. If we have you asking questions about how to advance your career in a certain way, you best believe we're going to go out and we're going to find the best resources for that exact thing. Even if we have to hire an expert to come in and help us build the content, we're going to build it. And it's going to be there for you, it's going to be there for everyone else, and it's going to be there for future members. So this will continue to add value. And our goal is not to lock you into a subscription for the sake of having you in a subscription. My goal is that by the time you finish your first 12 months on this program, and you see that you need to pay a monthly subscription to continue into month 13, it's going to be absolutely no question because you've gotten so much value out of the first 12 months that it would be laughable to consider not doing this for another year and not growing for another year and not being part of this community and the workshops and the masterminds and the deep dives. Um, So that's our goal. And if you don't see the value, 
Then the other kicker is that if you decide, nah, I want out, I, I don't want to continue with the subscription, I did my 12 months, we're still going to leave you with access to the entire Career Accelerator program course content. It won't have all the updates, but it'll have what you paid for. So you're always going to have that, take it away, all the downloadable templates, all the videos, all the guidance, you still walk away with that. You still walk away with access to the members only community. So what you're really missing out on are the the workshops and the masterminds and the added content and the continued development of the program. And to me, you're going to know by the end of month 12, there's no way I want to miss out on that for this price tag. This price tag is nothing compared to the value I'm getting from this. It's a no-brainer. Um, so, so that's the goal. And that's why there is a 12-month limit because we do want to make sure that we actually have the funds in place to facilitate the ongoing growth of the program for not only new members, but for existing members who are staying with us long term. So uh, hopefully that helps shed some light on that. And then I did want to point out that this isn't all about paid programs. If you know anything about Talent Stacker, we actually have far more free resources than we have paid resources. And we created uh, a free resource specifically for established Salesforce professionals to better understand how to break into that next level of their career, not their first job anymore, but taking it to that next level. Um, so Anita, would you mind spending, you know, a couple of minutes, let us know, like we call it the career accelerator toolkit, but what is that, what is that all about? <laughs> Putting me on the spot. I, I did work on this toolkit when it first came out. I'm trying to remember, I think, um, some of the salary negotiation stuff is in there. Um, <laughs> I, I know it was really, I, would, I, I just remembered when I was reviewing it, I was like, are you, are you sure you want to give out all this stuff for free? Yeah, that, that, that was my reaction too. When, when Alex sent me the first draft, which we all had a hand in, but when she sent me the finalized draft, I was like, ah, this is, this is the free version, right? Like, okay, all right, we can work with this. Um, but yeah, it is, you're right. It has the negotiation in it. I think the thing that stood out to me the most was that it has a like a, a goal planning guide. It's actually like a template that you download and it walks you through how to actually set your next career goals and set those goals for the next three, six, nine, 12 months um, and actually put in plans and tangible things that you want to accomplish in order to make those goals a reality and not in five years and not in three years and not in two years, but in a year or less a year substantially less. These things can take less than a month. If you realize that, oh, my goal is to spend more time with my family because I feel like work has gotten in my way. A lot of times that's as simple as putting some boundaries in place and having some light guidance. And a lot of times it's you that's getting in your own way of accomplishing your own goals. And you can put a few systems in place for yourself in a few weeks and accomplish amazing goals. Um, so I would stop thinking in terms of years and quarters and start thinking in terms of days and weeks and months, and you can accomplish amazing things immediately. So yeah, negotiations in there. Um, I know there's some content on imposter syndrome because people are fearful. Established professionals are still fearful of, am I capable? Can I do that? Am I allowed to do that? We're still asking for permission, even though we're already on the other side of the fence, right? Like stop asking for permission. You can do this and really outlining and planning your future. Stop waiting for your future to somehow land in your lap and go get it, like make it happen, put the plan in place and bring it into reality. So um, that's really what the toolkit is all about. And for anyone who wants to hop in and grab that toolkit, obviously it's like, stop talking about it. I just would like to get it. Um, just head over to talentstacker.com forward slash kit. That's talentstacker.com forward slash K-I-T and grab the free career accelerator toolkit and you'll be good to go. We'd love to hear your thoughts and see what you think. If you're listening right now, you haven't landed in your first job, first go to talentstacker.com forward slash start. And if you have landed your job and you need a little toolkit, also go to talentstacker.com forward slash kit, K-I-T. Thanks everybody for listening. And we hope you're getting value from this podcast. And if you are, we'd appreciate it if you could share it with your friends and coworkers and let them know. And then of course, if you don't mind subscribing, and leaving us a five-star review on whatever podcast platform you're listening on. We always appreciate that, and it lets the platforms know that you're getting value from the show.